Like you people already know, enzymes are proteins. But not all enzymes are only proteins. Along with proteins, there are some other biomolecules that will make the enzyme act properly or will be will make the enzyme more active, right? So those are what is known as cofactors. So enzymes are composed of several polypeptide chain, but there are a number of non-protein components that is present in an enzyme, which is known as cofactors. So if you are asked what is a cofactor, cofactor is a non-protein part of an enzyme. So enzyme is nothing but protein and it will be also called as apoenzyme and cofactor like I told you is a non-protein part. So holoenzyme refers to a apoenzyme along with a cofactor means the protein part along with the non-protein part together it is called as holoenzyme right. So cofactors are of three kinds that is prosthetic group, coenzyme, metal ions cofactors are of three types prosthetic group coenzyme and metal ions prosthetic group and coenzyme belong to a organic group while metal ions belong to a inorganic group right so first we will study about the organic group that is your prosthetic group and coenzyme what is the difference between prosthetic group and coenzyme both are organic groups right but prosthetic group binds tightly to the enzyme it will be always attached to the enzyme that is the apoenzyme, while coenzyme binds only during the catalysis of reaction. Very timely, it will be separated. That is, the coenzyme is separated from the apoenzyme during the other times. The example for prosthetic group is your peroxidase or catalase that catalyzes the reaction of conversion of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Peroxidase contains a prosthetic group known as heme right that is also present in your hemoglobin and the example for coenzymes coenzymes examples are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nad and nadp and these mainly contain vitamins the example here in nad and nadp is vitamin b5 or niacin the last cofactor is your metal ions which is an inorganic group so some enzyme require metal ions for their activity which form coordination bonds with the side chain of the active site. The example is zinc. Zinc is a cofactor for proteolytic enzymes that is present in the human body that is carboxypeptidase. Catalytic activity is lost when the cofactor is removed from the enzyme. So therefore, it is important that the cofactor is also present for enzyme activity. But this does not mean cofactor must be present, right? That is what I told you. Some Enzymes can function only as proteins, but some enzymes has protein part as well as non-protein part, right? So, thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe to Chris Biology and please do comment on topics that you want uh, to see more on this channel. Thank you.